This marks the first tour on the Linking Your Thinking channel, and I'm pleased to start with Jonathan Splitlog. Jonathan and I first met on the Obsidian Forums in 2020, then he accepted my invitation to be on the first Linking Your Thinking workshop last summer. Since then, we've had many riveting conversations on all sorts of topics. He is truly somebody whose thoughts I cherish, so much so that now we collaborate on all the graphics for Linking Your Thinking. That logo, which looks like a half digital, half organic evergreen note, that's Jonathan with his collaborator, Jason Combs. In the following tour, Jonathan gives us a sneak peek into how he turns ideas he encounters into something greater than the sum of their parts. Let's view a bit of Jonathan's presentation now. Can everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, Nick, so just guide us along here as I go and stop me if there's stuff that's relevant to the particular unit that we're on right now. But as Nick mentioned, I have finished this co the first cohort and uh, this was kind of what I showed at the end of our class. So this is like a sneak peek into what my full stack PKM system is, but it looks more finished than it is. I'll, I'll say that in the start. So what I'll be diving into, what I'll be starting with is this home note. So this is like the top of that emergence level graphic. Um, this would be my launching off point that everything connects back to. And the only thing that connect out from here are my home maps. Um, I call them indexes in my system, but you can call them whatever you want. So the first ones I'll be diving into, I'm just going to be showing this interest one, but I just wanted you to see um, what my index home map looks like. So one level down from home, there would be, uh, I have these little header photos to indicate that I'm in sort of the top level. I don't really do that with any of my other notes, but I just wanted to kind of trick these out a little bit. So each one of these home maps uh, has some sort of little header photo to let me know that I'm close to close to home, uh, rounding home. Like for my sources one, which is really tied to, you can see lots of backlinks here because this is tied to stuff that I actually read. These are my reading notes. I didn't bother linking out to anything from here because I'm not gonna go in here and manually add a link every time I have a new source note. It just shows up in the backlinks, but this particular one is just a launching off point of useful tags for different types of sources. So if I wanna dive into all my podcast notes or all my book notes, I can do that from here. That's nice to have, but I think my one that I'm actually the most interested in uh, aptly name is my interests. The interest MOC for me is really where I'm starting to stitch together my source notes, my um, as the conversation that was just happening, my notes that are developing, my notes that I would consider mature, my notes that are uh, original and evergreen. I try to sort of stitch those together with um, some source notes. But for this one particularly, um, we are looking at like, uh, the different categories of my interests. So for this top one, it's computers and technology. And then I link out to the different MOCs that I have associated with each one of those categories. So I have another one down here for um, systems and tools. So tools for thought, um, making tools, systems. Um, but the, the ones that I've really focused on for the sake of the capstone project was my computers and technology section. The actual uh, MOC that I worked on for the capstone project was this idea of mystical computation. And it's sort of this research on how can we examine uh, human computer interaction through the lens of mysticism and spirituality. And that was just like a research topic that I was really into for a while. I wanted to do some writing about it. I wanted to do some design about it. And I had been finding myself just gravitating towards that naturally um, in my collecting. So I ended up making an MOC about it and sort of collecting all the notes that I had built up along the way to that. So that looks like, let me close this. That ends up looking something like this, which over here in the outline pane, you can see that there's a bunch of different categories. I've got links out to other notes. I've got information contextualizing how I would describe this topic. I've got um, context about all the different notes that I've gathered that are related to this. So these are all notes that I took, I would say bottom up. I just ended up taking these notes and then finding that some of them had a home here I ended up um, seeing that there were a need for some more notes in here that I would end up kind of diving back down and going to create more notes for. But for me, this MOC is also a bit of an evergreen note in that it has lots of rich information about how all these different ideas tie to this one idea. And it contextualizes those ideas to this idea specifically. So even if I made this article about, or this note about spatial awareness in digital environments without thinking about this, mystical computation, I was actually thinking about a different topic, it ended up living here. And then I gave context to why that node in particular um, lives here. 
And then uh, on top of that, I've just got a bunch of links to source notes that I've taken down here. So I'm a very source driven person. I start, most things start for me by reading something, listening to something, having a conversation with somebody. That's where I find a lot of the ideas emerge from for me. Um, and the way I end up generating these notes up here is just by seeing something in two or three places and then naming it and saying like, okay, I saw this in this article. I talked about this in this conversation and I heard about this in this video, whatever. I'll give that thing that I'm noticing a name um, and then sort of start to clip out the pieces of those lit notes. So for instance, down here, we've got sources. So these are all the source materials that were useful to me in thinking about this. But instead of just linking to the source note, like here's a documentary I watched called All Watched Over by Machines of Loving Grace. And I have notes on it and I could pull up this. This is kind of a shorter one. It's just got headings for each of the main ideas that I encountered uh, watching this documentary and then a couple of links out in there to other places. Um, some of my own thoughts written out in here too, just mixed in with some of the ideas that came up. Uh, a hi one highlight from the documentary, which is just the poem that the name of the documentary is based on. But this whole note isn't relevant to this idea of mystical computation. There's like one thing in here that's relevant. So in Obsidian, what I've done, if I can switch over to editor view, is I've actually just embedded one heading from this note. So you can do heading embeds in Obsidian across notes. I'm sure most of you are familiar with that. Um, and I'll drill down into this one idea, which is computers are a reduction of human understanding. Um, extrapolations from the way computers see the world can be distorted and misguided. So the idea that if we look into the computer and it uh, tells us about who we are, we're fundamentally forgetting that we made the computer in the first place. That you just kind of, it's sort of a tools we uh, use shape us type of argument that Nick is also very into. So when I switch back into preview mode, you can see that just this one section, which is over here from the note is pulled into this MOC because this is in a pretty mature phase where I know that there's only, I've already kind of figured out which parts of these sources are relevant. But what I think this is a like a very detailed MOC compared to my other ones or compared to how I would start them normally. This was like, I'm really focusing on this for this class. I really wanna have lots of context. I really wanna feel like I've made an evergreen note that I can feel like is in a good place to leave and come back to. And I have an understanding of what the hell I'm talking about with all these different notes scattered across my, my vault. Um, but just to quickly show, I think what a more straightforward one would look like for me um, is this one I have on computer history, which is much more a nonfiction topic that I just have notes on different things on. So um, back in my home note, I have everything broken down into these different categories of interests, concepts, sources, reference, education, writing, documentation, journal, and then some other stuff that's more meta to Obsidian. Um, but like Nick's light kit, these were just my categories that I came up with that were helpful for me. And when I go into this computer history one, you can see that it's broken down exactly along those same lines. So I have stuff I'm interested in, which is usually more original notes, more what you would consider Zettelkasten type of notes. Um, I have concepts I've encountered. I have uh, sources that I read that I haven't gone through and found those particular uh, slices that are perfectly suited to illustrate this point. I might not need to because this whole MOC is just about history. Um, so pointing to historical sources might be enough. And then I have just some reference of these are important people to keep track of. These are important places that have come up. Um, so for me, I kind of try to break things down into original ideas I've had versus things I've encountered. And then the evergreen note, the practice becomes, or MOC, the practice becomes stitching those together. So how do my original ideas tie into the source materials I've encountered, tie into the reference material I've encountered? And then how would I contextualize and explain that to myself so that I can find that stuff again, but then as the springboard for making something that I could then turn into a publication. Like I could very, I won't say easily, but readily make a, a publication about certain aspects of this idea of mystical computation. And then when I need to dive down into, you know, what do I mean by mystical computation? Well, I've got a note about that. I've got a note defining that term, even though this is an MOC and it sure has some context about it, I still need to have a note where I have my terms defined for each of these things. So I feel like that's a pretty comprehensive look of how we go from home note to a pretty broad MOC, uh, narrowing down into a more specific interest that links out to 
individual small notes that links out into source notes that I've been capturing. And then those are analyzed and contextualized into this MOC. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into Jonathan's mind. Did you get anything out of it? Do you want to see more of these types of tours? There's a lot more where this came from if you do. Please let me know below.